this is over to the great god Benjamin Krause. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. May the peace of Yahweh be with each and every one of you. You may be seated. Well, it's cold outside, but it's warm in here. I was hearing yesterday on the radio about some jaw-dropping information, and I was thinking this morning, I don't know how many jaws can drop when it's frozen outside, uh, but hopefully we'll uh, warm that right up, get rid of that lock jaw. <laughs> um, let's see. I want to continue on where we left off last time, this King of the North that Pastor mentioned, but... Uh, the, the title of my speech is uh, going to be the evil, An Evil Tree. Um, turn over to Matthias 7.17. Matthias 7.17. In your book of Yahweh. If I didn't say it, may the peace of Yahweh be with each and every one of you. Um... On page 733, it says, Likewise, every tree brings forth righteous fruit, but a tree of evil brings forth fruit of iniquity. And remember, a righteous tree cannot bring forth fruit of iniquity. That's the house of Yahweh. It cannot bring forth these gods, okay? The gods will be abolished from the house of Yahweh. Now, that word evil that's written there in uh, 717... It's this word here, 4550 in the Greek, as you can see it's used here in Matthias 7, 17. Notice it means corrupt, corrupt. It means bad, worthless, rotten, literally or morally, okay? It's uh, worthless, putrefied, uh, and some other words, rotten, etc. Can I have my first slide? An evil tree, if you'll notice, the gematria. And by the way, uh, it's very amazing this morning that the future priest Mashonia got up here and he told us all uh, to be thankful. And he quoted Deuteronomy 10.8. 10.8. And I thought, you know, the inspiration that came from that right there. Because we should all be very thankful for the information that you're going to receive today from Yahweh that we've been receiving. But be very thankful for this because that number 18 plays into everything today. Because 18 is nothing but three sixes or 666. Um, I'm going to read you an excerpt right now from the fifth book of Israel. And it's uh, chapter 15, verse 46. Pastor says, the people are prone to go to play. The playing is what gets us in trouble. Everything in the house of Yahweh is work. The studying, the research, and the pains we go through. The strain our, we strain our eyes until they won't let us strain anymore, trying to get to the bottom of it and find out what Yahweh really said. And Exodus 32, 6 says, The next day the people rose early and offered burnt offerings and bought peace offerings, and the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. Then Yahweh said to Moshe, Gil, get down, for your people whom you brought out of the land of Egypt have become corrupt. Can I have my next slide? You see that word? Corrupt is 666. Pastor said this was spoken of in 1 Corinthians. Now, he says, I want you to be thinking about this before you read this scripture. When you turn a television set on in front of your child... You're teaching him whatever comes on that television set. Both what he's aware of and what his subconscious mind picks up in the form of subliminal messages. Whatever it is, that's what's going into his brain and influencing him to be something. Surely you don't want him to be evil. When he sees this, he is taught. He's influenced. Pastor says, I'm convinced that if you want to make it into the kingdom and you want your children to be holy like Samuel... You need to raise them like Samuel. These things were not put in front of Samuel to alter his mind, to get his mind thinking in a certain way. If you want your child to war and fight, get him a pair of boxing gloves and you'll teach him to fight. Can you give me my next slide? War and fight. 
You see that? Is that what you want? These are the inspired words of Israel Hawkins from the 15th book, 5th book of Israel. On December 6th, 12-6, and I want you to think of 12-6 as 18 because 12-6, 12 and 6 is 18, 666. President Donald Trump announced that Jerusalem move. Well, it just so occurs, and we talked about that last time I spoke. Go back and listen to it. It just so occurs on that day that NASA put up a picture. If you can show the slide. Remember the NASA astronomy picture of the day? Notice the numbers. HH666. Now, isn't that interesting? You know, NASA, I know we don't work with NASA. I've told you this before. We don't have any connections with NASA. Okay? We don't call NASA and tell them to put certain pictures up on certain days. But this day was very interesting because I'm going to show you the inspiration of Yahweh here. HH, by the way, the letter H is the eighth letter of the alphabet. So what you're looking at is 88. And if you remember, me and Pastor were harping on this 88 and 666 before this picture came up. Okay, and you remember the work on that 88 about the necromancers, okay? By the way, the neo-Nazis use 8-8 as a hidden symbol for Heil Hitler because H is the eighth letter, and when they, when they say Heil Hitler, they're saying H-H. Can you go to the next slide? Next slide, please. By the way, that's called the Carina Nebula. HH666, and we're going to talk more about that at another time. Right now I'm laying a foundation. I want you to notice, uh, this is from the Sea of Glass, the last book of Israel, the 16th book of Israel. And I want you to notice, it's from the Feast of Pentecost, uh, 61216, a palindrome. Remember, 612 is nothing but 666. 6 and 12 is 18, and actually if you add up the whole date, 6-12-2016, you'll get the number 18, which is 666. It's on, now notice, the typesetter must have been totally inspired unless they had nothing better to do because this sermon starts on page 216. And if you remember, 216, we harped on that in this very chapter about what 216 meant. But I want you to notice first, on the very first page, Pastor mentions the number 18. He was talking about the crown that was the nine points on the crown. And he said, that makes eight plus one. And we talked about 18 and how that date added up to 18 and 666. If you'll look in the book, actually, I'm going to show you right here. I brought it with me. I like to prove all things. But if you'll notice, the second page right here, we talked about the temple of Baal equals 666. And 2016 is 666. 6 times 6 times 6 is 216. Now I want you to go to the next slide. Because there should be some math there for you. 6 times 6 times 6 is 216. And then you go to the next slide. You'll see for 2016, and remember 216 is just 612, backwards 2016 is 666 times 3 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 so 2016 had 666 written all over it didn't it now I wonder why I wonder why I wonder what Yahweh was trying to show us here well a certain person was elected in 2016 <laughs> that's as far as I'll go right now by the way, that certain person, if you remember in 2015, I brought out what this means. And that certain person can't stop doing this. Whenever he speaks. That's called a sign, a signature. 
Now, go to my next slide, please. From this sermon on June 12, 2016, to December 6, 2017, was 542 days. Turn over to the page number 542 in your book of Yahweh. The inspired book of Yahweh. You can't get this in the King James. I don't even think it has 542 pages. <laughs> Let's look at Isaiah 20, verse 4. It talks about here on page 542, So will the king of Assyria lead away the Egyptians as prisoners. That's all I'm going to read, because this prophecy was written in 714 B.Y. Well, guess what occurred in 666 B.C., or B.Y.? This prophecy was fulfilled when Thebes, Egypt, the capital at that time, was sacked by the Assyrians in 666. Wow, what a coincidence. Go to the next slide, please. The Sea of Glass. 542 in Strong's means to see fully, to see Remember what Pastor said about that sea of glass, how it should really say see? You know how Yahweh can see ahead? He can see in the future? He can see these things clearly way ahead of time. Can you see the marvelous mind of Yahweh, how he puts this together? Could we do this ourselves, house of Yahweh? Come on, you'd be giving us too much credit there. (laughs) There'd have to be a whole lot of conniving going on here. For all these things to be falling into place like this. Go to the next slide, please. I'm going to set you up for this because a diligent studier in the house of Yahweh called me or texted me the other morning and said, why don't you look at this sermon right here? Look at this sermon right here because I noticed the numbers in it kind of match what you talked about on on 612.16 about 666. And it's in chapter 18, the planned genealogies of kingdom number one. This is in the 14th book of Israel. Now, at four o'clock this morning, it dawned on me, because me and pastor talk about this stuff every day, and it dawned on me at four o'clock this morning, I knew it was chapter 18, so that's 666, right? But the date is 6, 15, 5 and 1 is 6. And 96 is 15, and 5 and 1 is 6. So 666 is written all over this. Okay, now, this is interesting. Let's go to the next slide. In this plan, Genealogies of the Kingdom, Pastor talked about rebellion and stubbornness and how we must get it out of us, out of our genetics. We must get this rebellion within us out of our lives. Because what we're seeing now in this world is sin fully matured. This rebellion that's been bred in mankind, it's now fully maturing. Go to the next slide, please. From this date, this sermon was given to June 12, 2016, of the 666, was 7302 days. Can you go to the next slide? 7302 means to be sated. It's from 7301. It means to satiate, to fill. Can you turn to page 612 in your book of Yahweh? These things have all been brought before. If you go back and listen to the sermons from 2015 and 2016, every bit of this has been brought before. Because Yahweh is inspiring His house. Jeremiah 46, verse 10. For this is the day of Father Yahweh of hosts, a day of vengeance, that He may, that means judgment that he may judge his adversaries. The sword will devour and will be satiated and made drunk with their blood. For Father Yahweh of hosts has a sacrifice in the north country by the river Euphrates. Remember this word, 7302, means sated with drink, drunkenness, to fill, to satiate. And notice it's on page 612. That was the date of the sermon, right? What an amazing thing. Turn to the next slide, please. Okay, so Uremia 46.10, talk on 6.12. Now notice the destruction of Nineveh. Okay, notice what year that took place? 6.12. 6.12 B.Y. 
The city of Nineveh, the ancient capital of the Assyrian Empire. Remember, Yana went there and preached against it. But it, you know, they repented at that time. But then in 612 BY, the destruction came. What a coincidence, right? 666, 612. Please go to the next slide. Remember, we're still talking about the 61596 sermon. Can you go to the next slide? So from June 15, 96 to December 6, 2017 now, we're spanning this date, was, that's when uh, this uh, announcement was made about Jerusalem and that 666 picture came up from NASA. It was 7844 days. Can I have my next slide? Oh boy. Oh boy. How does Yahweh do this? It means corrupt. And corrupt is what? Can I have my next slide? You know, Yahweh is so magnificent, you know? Now, in this sermon that I'm quoting, this, uh, this 18th chapter of the 14th book, part 2, or part 1, pastor talks all about this earthly image in 1 Corinthians 15 that man is wearing at this time. This earthly image. We're bearing the image of the earthly. Okay, that's in 1 Corinthians. Turn over to 1 Corinthians 15 on page 899. Because this is what he's quoting from in this, throughout this sermon on page 899. Can you go to my next slide, please? Earthly image. Put that number down. Earthly image, 666. It's not an accident. Oh, by the way, when you think of earthy or earthly, remember the Pope? What's his name? Can you go to my next slide? Next slide, image of Jorge. Well, if that ain't enough for you, you can go to my next slide. Pope Francis I, Jorge Mario Bergoglio of Buenos Aires, Argentina, 666. Wow, what a coincidence, huh? Now remember, these are men. This is the culmination of this headstrong arrogance, stubbornness, pride, rebellion that's been bred. Remember, this is a sermon about the genealogies. House of Yahweh, we've got to get this stubbornness out of us. Can you go to the next slide? Headstrong, arrogant, you know, stubborn, 666. Next slide. Unruly, 666. Next slide. Lustful, 666. This isn't an accident, right? Next one. Hardened heart, 666. Next one. All of humanity has this. All of humanity. Look up the word human and you'll know what I'm talking about. Next slide. Pastor's quoting here, 1 Corinthians 15, 39 to 50 on page 899. Notice, it means a covering, clothing. What the world is clothed in at this time. Rebellion. The garment of rebellion. And it also means treacherous, unfaithful, transgression. Treacherously. Next slide. Actually, it's uh, notice here, treacheries. Coincidence, House Yahweh? The whole world, next slide, is under the bondage of sin. 666. Are you rejoicing at what Yahweh is showing his house? Could you get this anywhere else? Yeah, sure. You could go to the Catholic Church. <laughs> they don't even know what prophecy is. There's a lot more coming on this. Get ready, okay? Because Yahweh is revealing everything in these last days, house of Yahweh. And He's revealing it to you because He loves you. He loves you and He loves the work you're doing. And you're all doing a great, great job. Keep it up. Don't stop. Let's bring this rebellious system down in ourselves first. Okay? So with, our, with that, if you'd all please stand. It's been a great